the practice of life science is becoming increasingly data dependent. At the same time, the amount of complexity of data is growing exponentially. To enable better use of data, it needs to be findable, accessible, interoperable, reusable, and available in real time to all. This will allow data to drive discovery. But the field of data-driven life science is changing fast, and we need to keep up. This is the rationale behind the SciLife Lab and Valenby National Program for Data-Driven Life Science, a novel national research initiative aimed at fostering the next generation of life scientists. Hosted by SciLife Lab, the DDLS program will bring the life science community in Sweden together in a unique manner, says Oli Kaliuniemi, director of SciLife Lab and the DDLS program. It connects 10 universities and the Swedish Museum of Natural History across four fields of life science, with systematic data handling and data science expertise, eventually engaging hundreds of scientists and trainees over 12 years. The program will initially focus on recruiting excellent young group leaders who will act as a base to build and broaden competence in data-driven life science in Sweden. It will enrich and enhance traditional hypothesis-driven research, flipping the model of science around so that data is driving the experiments. The program targets four areas of data-driven life sciences. Cell and molecular biology, evolution and biodiversity, precision medicine and diagnostics, and epidemiology and infection biology. The Knut and Alice Wallenberg Foundation is investing 3.1 billion Swedish crowns, 360 million US dollars, over 12 years in the new initiative. Program goals include recruiting 39 internationally preeminent future research leaders, creating a graduate school for 260 PhD students in academia and industry, establishing over 200 postdoctoral positions, including industrial postdocs combining research in academia and industry, and developing a framework for data-driven life science. The program will collaborate with previous initiatives by the Knut and Alice Wallenberg Foundation, strengthening the interface between life science, mathematics, data, and artificial intelligence. Peter Wallenberg Jr., chair of the Knut and Alice Wallenberg Foundation, describes the thinking behind the new initiative. This is a massive, long-term initiative aimed at placing Sweden among the world leaders in life science thereby contributing to a better quality of life for people, animals, and nature. SciLife Lab, through its national infrastructure and active community, already supports research activities at all major Swedish universities, making it a national hub for data-driven life science that benefits researchers in multiple disciplines and sectors. This position allows SciLife Lab to leverage its infrastructure and research community and synergize with a new program. Some might say that research is already data-driven, but Oli Kalioniemi argues that data-driven life science is still in its infancy. Through advanced training, multidisciplinary programs, innovative and interdisciplinary collaborations, and a national framework for data-driven life science, we will change the way life science research is carried out and put Sweden at the forefront of tomorrow's research, with data in the driver's seat. We look forward to working with all of our partners to transform life sciences and use data, not just for research, but for the benefit of society. But as with most scientific endeavors, this can't be done alone. As Kalioniemi explains, we need to go beyond discussions to implementing it together across the nation and at the global front line. That will be transformative. We want the best global talent to join us in this challenge and to form a strong national research community with links to international efforts of similar ambitions. Join our adventure. Visit scilifelab.se slash data-driven 